you looking for a change from all your average, earth-based Doctor Who stories? Are you looking for a story with monsters and androids and danger? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gents. Boys and girls, people of all orientations, sexualities, and beautiful identities, to another Doctor Who review. In today's review is the Android Invasion. So, without further ado, let's get right into the action. Our story begins in the town of East Hagborn. Well... At least, that's what it seems. The Doctor and Sarah land outside of East Hagborn, and when they arrive, they find that the town is empty. No one's around, and nothing seems to be going on. Nothing until they spot a young man jumping off of a cliff to his death. They don't quite get why, so they go into the town and decide to investigate. When they get to the pub, there's no landlord, and when they walk around the streets, no one seems to be around for miles. Suddenly, the doctor begins to get suspicious, because inside the pub, all the dates on the calendar are the same. And then, this is when things really get interesting. Then the pair discover that a truck arrives. Filled with people to the brim, all the people go to their allegated places in the town, and then most of them go to the pub. Whilst in the pub and sneaking around, Sarah ends up bumping into one of the people, uh, and she points out to them that <laughs> it's a lovely looking day outside, and the landlord tells her to leave says that she's not part of the experiment. And then she asks if she can help, and so the landlord begins to wonder whether she is in on the experiment. Sarah, oblivious to what he's going on about, decides to go off on a wild goose chase away from the town to find out what's happening. Along the way, the Doctor and Sarah find themselves jumping off things, running away from people, and basically having a good run up and down. This is all because the people in the town are androids. Or so they learn later on in the story. As we continue down the road of this story, we learn that the Krulls, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, the Krulls, yeah. The Krulls have built the androids in the village to make a test for invasion plans they have for Earth, with help by a lost space traveller from a Apollo mission. This space traveller has been convinced that they want to inhabit the Earth to do good. Little does he realise that the Kral actually intend to take over Earth completely, and become the dominant force. So when he learns of this, he ends up turning against them completely. The Krulls have made many inventions, not only the androids, but they have made weapons that can block other weapons, uh, stopping copper or anything. They also have developed a virus that they can infect human beings with and any other life form. As the story progresses, we find out that the Krull have made many duplicates, and especially of significance, one Harry Sullivan, and the other Sergeant Benton. This becomes a bit of a conundrum for Sarah and the Doctor, as when they arrive back at Earth to warn them of the Krull's invasion, they don't know whether it's really them, or a Krull in disguise. Krull Android in disguise, I mean. So, when they warn them about the task, Benton and Sullivan are very confused about what they're going on about, but immediately pop 
into action. The Krolls soon learn that the Doctor is the biggest problem to their invasion plan and has caused them nothing but grief. So, in order to carry out their plan and hope to succeed, they make a duplicate of the Doctor and send him to Earth. When the duplicate arrives at Earth, he ends up fighting with the Doctor in a fabulous fashion. If you have ever wanted to see Tom Baker jump over a counter at himself, this is is just a spectacular moment for you. But yeah, he has a fight with himself and wins and stops the invasion. So, the android invasion. A fantastic action-packed story with Tom Baker jumping off of roofs, getting shot up by bullets, and even fighting himself in the final act. So, with that in mind, I had to give this story a 10 out of 10. Hope you've all enjoyed, and we'll see you in another Doctor Who review very soon. Goodbye for now.